It's hard to describe what it's like to stand on the top of the Mount of Olives overlooking the old city of Jerusalem, or having a Bible study on the Sea of Galilee, or visiting Capernaum where Jesus based his ministry. And imagine what it would be like to walk through the Garden of Gethsemane, pray at the Wailing Wall, or have communion at the site of the empty tomb. Israel has a rich history, and it's the only spot on the planet where God walked and taught. And from the time your feet touch Israeli soil until you leave again, you're very aware that this is God's special place on earth. After you've visited this land, you'll never again read your Bible the same way. But this is more than a tour of Israel. You'll be joining hundreds of evangelical Christians cruising the magnificent Mediterranean Sea, visiting four countries and over 100 biblical sites, using the ship as your floating hotel. You begin by flying into Athens, where you'll tour the Acropolis with the magnificent Parthenon, and Mars Hill, where Paul addressed the Greeks. Then you'll board the cruise ship Crystal and head out on your 10-day Mediterranean cruise. While at sea, you can attend Bible studies led by Josh McDowell, one of America's most acclaimed Bible scholars. The first port is Egypt, where you'll visit one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the incredible pyramids. You'll also visit the Sphinx and the Egyptian National Museum that displays King Tut's artifacts. Then it's on to Israel, where you can actually walk where Jesus walked. You'll spend two days visiting Jerusalem and its numerous biblical sites, including the Old City, the Temple Mount, Pools of Bethesda, the Southern Steps, the Wailing Wall, the Garden of Gethsemane, the Mount of Olives, Bethlehem, and then complete Jerusalem with communion at the empty tomb. The next port to visit is the Galilee area, including Nazareth, Cana, the breathtaking view of the Valley of Armageddon, the Mount of Beatitudes, Capernaum, and a boat ride and Bible study on the Sea of Galilee. You can also be baptized in the Jordan River. The next port is Cyprus, where Paul visited and departed from on his first missionary journey. Then you'll visit scenic Rhodes, the ancient walled old city where the Colossus of Rhodes once stood, another one of the seven wonders of the world. Next is Patmos, where you'll visit the cave where John lived when he penned the book of Revelation. The last port is Ephesus, one of the most remarkable New Testament sites uncovered to date, a photographer's dream. After returning to Athens, you have a post-cruise option to overnight in Athens, visiting Corinth, where the Bema seat still stands today, and time to shop in the famous Plaka shopping district. Each night and while at sea, you can choose to attend any of the ship activities, Bible studies, lectures, or praise singing. There's no cruise like the Bible Lands cruise. Athens, Egypt, two days in Jerusalem, Galilee, Cyprus, Ephesus, Patmos, Corinth, the At Sea Bible Conference, ship activities, Bible studies, and praise nights. What an itinerary. All for a great price of only $32.95. Includes air from New York, cruise, all land tours, and a night in Athens. It's easy to hold your space so you can begin making plans to travel. To reserve your cabin, simply fill out the registration page in the Bible Lands Cruise brochure and mail or fax it today. We hope you can join us, as anyone will tell you that's traveled with us on any of our past Bible Lands cruises. This is definitely the trip of a lifetime.